From Rivers Property in Schenectady, New York, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton. Tonight we are at the brand new Rivers property in Schenectady, New York. Now, Schenectady is hometown to both Poker Night in America regular Sean Deeb and Poker Night in America commentator Joe Stapleton. Jessica! That is right. My family actually used to get takeout from Sean's family seafood restaurant. If you ask me, it is cool to see that he stayed in the family business. <laughs> huh? You know, profiting off of fish. Ah, uh, got it. All right, let's get down to the felt. Fish and chip can. Well, we continue day number one. Brand new player sitting down. Not brand new to Poker Night in America. Oh, no, contraire. But brand new to the table, nonetheless. Sean Deeb in seed two. Now you're all in big trouble. Now what are you going to do? Well, I was in your court, I Doug. Just, I just <laughs> got so owned. <laughs> just like one of those Poker Stars Raise It commercials. I just got to raise it. Yeah, 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 those are great. Straddles on. Sean D wasting no time making it 300. I think I made fun of that with a rake it campaign, but it's been so long I can't remember if I did that or not. Those little plaques there force the player to expose their hand. Half the hand's over, of course. I like it. A new wrinkle on Poker Night in America. Doug's decided to three bet him with Ace Deuce. Now, Frank with a monster. You could call or raise. All right. 10 4 suited. That is a very evil raise. Easy blinds to get through. And <laughs> Sean and Doug are both in big trouble here. That is an interesting check from Casella. Sean and Doug are both in even bigger trouble here. They checked the flop, so the turn comes another three. Sean in a little bit less trouble now. Frank Casella's bet 1,500. Sean Deeb's wife, Ashley, played earlier in day one, and now being replaced by the evil Sean Deeb. What? Is this real life? How much is that? I mean, look, I guess he's going to assume that Frank's going to have a bigger heart sometimes. Maybe he'll have a full house already sometimes. Now, Doug is drawn dead to a chop. Well, one of the oldest adages in poker, don't chase a flush draw with a paired board, right? Yep. 4,000. Frank, you're killing You got him. them right there. They're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Doug is chopping with a lot of aces. Ace King. Nice hand. Reveal Doug's hand. And Sean oh. Deeb has played the reveal card. <laughs> what a needle! You're <laughs> such a d. Why did you do that? I asked him what he was going to do with those. He goes, I got a good deal. Uh, <laughs> he's been thinking about how to use those things. <laughs> <in> the, <laughs> he's productive. <laughs> Uh, They're really tough to use as slow roll, so I figured call yeah. when someone makes a hero call is wrong, oh, yeah. that's the spot for it. What a d Man, whenever the blinds go up big, I just get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like if they're, if they're... But weren't you losing at 20 by 50 even before the blinds went up? Um, we play like 510 inside. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually you'll find a stake your giveaway will matter at. Very slightly losing. Basically even. Is five for Todd Dugan. I guess they're playing better when the big blind's like a lot bigger. That's we my, all do. That's my main problem, I think. Let's face it, we could all improve our game. If I call Sean will raise. So making that mental note out loud. Hey no. And now the ace queen from Casella no is gonna do some raising. I like, I like that you just call my own with ace king, but then you raise the limbs the next hand. <laughs> <laughs> gotta play the players. Yeah, I'm the I'm the won't give you action when you have ace king kind of guy. <laughs> You're gonna fold that hand to a three bet. <laughs> yes, no shit. How much? 33. Oh. 33? I like the raise here because it makes it look like you're trying to steal a steal. <laughs> so close. Yep, so far away. Casella doesn't always play exactly by the book, but often it works out for him. 
see if he can find an ace on this flop. If he doesn't, it's 10-8-10. 23? 10. Casella in bad shape on this flop, but the ace of spades in his hand is gonna keep him around for at least one more street. I'm all in. Cool. Whoa, this is going to be a shame. I have two kings. I like my chances. I'm good at hitting an ace of diamonds on the river. I, I'm hoping that you don't. I keep trying to bluff you, and you keep having shit like aces and kings. It makes it a lot harder. I've learned this about Brandon. Huh? That was oh, a good wow. one. That, that's a I like very that one. That's a very I'll live, still take Karen. the ace of diamonds. I don't need the spade. Lamora fades it. What owe you now? What owe you this Brandon time? Brandon wasn't sweating it all there. I don't know how I keep <laughs> running these hands into you. It's, I'm the worst. Frank's strategy is just win Doug's money and then give it to Give it to everybody people. else. Yeah, that's nice. It's actually a great strategy for the ecosystem in this poker room. It is, but it's a very sad strategy if your name's Doug. <laughs> and then they'll have the money to spend on local businesses like go. Ted's Fish Fry. How long are you saying, Frank? <laughs> 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 You know, they say poker isn't about the cards. It's all about playing the player. I will say, though, that when you call an all-in, it's generally preferable to have a pair or a draw. You know, just not nothing. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Night in America here at Rivers Connectedy. Back to the action. Matt, when you got it in, do you think you were getting it in good there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, uh, I have 20 behind. Okay. You, you got it. You got it. All right. oh, look at the baller, Doug Polk. I'm playing with 20 behind, just so everyone knows. Hey, it's pocket aces for Hacksaw Todd Dugan. I guess the Hacksaw hand would have to be the two four. Remember the two by four? Okay, it's fine. Okay, got it, okay. Call. Duke has made it 500. Bartlett's called with 9-8 suited. Ooh, Look at how quick you can grab for them chips now. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Doug's out. Now, if Duke had had a looser rep, we probably would have seen a three bet somewhere there. But since he's been quiet, everyone's giving him credit for a hand. They're still gonna try to run him down. They don't wanna play for it all pre flop. Good oh, buddy. 4 7 Jack with a couple of spades with the flop. Sean D. Check. Flops a set of fours. It's very rarely easy with aces in a multi way pot. Wow. Oh, got out of the muck. Oh, oh, guys. That's not good. Can I use my reveal on Doogie's hand right now? I don't think Doogie ever <laughs> folds. Absolutely not. Sure. Wow. Said again? Sean, no offense, I like this hand. I, I, I don't mind that hand Freddie like, wants a four I like, space. I like this hand. Oh, that'll work. Okay, actually, give him a deuce of diamonds. <laughs> That's the straight for Bartlett. No, the four spades is coming for sure. <laughs> yeah. Nice hand, Freddy. Nice hey, hand, buddy. Cool. Let's go. Good hand, Freddy. Ah, All right, there is justice in the world. <laughs> Ace is getting cracked as injustice. It's going to take him four hands I'll to stack his chips. He doesn't even have that many. I'm going to count the $50,000 session as a session. I don't blame. I mean, that's fair. It's fair to count that. Count Here's the only thing I would say to that is we sent the money in, like, a few oh, weeks yeah. before, so it feels, so it feels different, it feels free. doesn't it? I, okay, I'll get I this first thing. It doesn't feel like this. Way early. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon, for the help. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 it was a long time ago. Straddling to 100. Brandon Lamora with another big hand. I'll try one more time. Oh, there's all kinds of callers now. Game's open now. I don't know what I'm looking to find when I play against him, other than I'd like to have the best hand on the end. Everybody wants to play a pot against Lamora. Oh, Doug. That's it. It's Brandon and the like this game now, Mike? Like it's that. fun. <laughs> That'll teach him to wear that San Francisco Giants bullshit. What did I ever do to you, Frank? I'm a little agitated at this point. He's trolling you. He stacked you twice. Well, I, I could imagine I only how agitated you if you actually were Double losing. Through. Double through. I know, right? Dude, that's crazy. I don't think anybody here is stacking Frank. Okay, kids. Double through. Can you make it too flat? Two you in. Why we shouldn't play this hand bigger. Well, this is dangerous. Don't play like this. 6 4 for $2,000. I think. What? I thought you were thinking about raising. 
I, I actually really thought so, too. Three players. I don't know. No? I don't know. It's a silly hand in the spot. This is not the Sean Deeb that I grew up on. I think he's just made a great lead on Lamora here. Both Polk and Casella catch huge pieces. Casella's got a straight flush draw. Now Lamora may be going for a check raise here. How about Freddy? The porn stash and everything. <laughs> he turned it down for this. Oh, yeah. He's betting 4,500. Both calls. And you can understand why Lamora's giving this some thought. But with an overpair and the king of spades, I think you just got to rip it in. He's going to let it go. Whoa, I said rip it in, not flip it in. Let's hope for his sanity's sake that ends up being the right move. I love playing results. All right, here comes the turn. It's a seven of hearts. So king still would have been good on this turn, but it is still a scary board. <laughs> Our oh, kings would have no. been real good on that river. <laughs> oh, no. I hope Lamora doesn't have much of a temper, but if so, we are going to see it. I'm the worst player. Six. Oh, no, six. Brandon, would you f***ing Bad six. I have a pretty bad six. Oh, my God. Check Lamora's pulse rate right now. <laughs> I'm going to look so silly on TV. Sixes with what? the king, seven, right. five. I had you out kicked. <laughs> How? I still think I would take his hand on the flop, though. How? Well, yes, uh, I would also take his hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was how did I have you out Oh, my <laughs> You can't. I mean, look at the way that board played. I'm fine with it. Nine times out of ten, oh, you're losing sweet. that hand. Quick, somebody check on Brandon Lamora. Doug Polk and Frank Casella playing monkey in the middle with Brandon Lamora's cash. I only move on to the next hand. Dugan with the straddle. Chris. Let me know when you get to the worst fold you've ever seen. Sean D makes it 300 with queen nine. 1030. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are watching on their phone. You did not. You, you, you're going to get destroyed on the internet for that fold. I don't care. There's, There's no way blind. that's what he posted. Huh? It's I my hope. blind. I understand, but you're just going to lose more money that's post if you put in the 200s. All right. He's, all. he's not lying. Well, let me know when you get to the I'm not goal. lying, and I'm not lying that it won't bother me that people will destroy me. I don't care. I, don't, I, I think he's being clear. <laughs> I, uh, I'll play. Hey, so Brandon, you remember this flop with me and Doogie? Uh, yeah, queen nine versus queen six. Please. I don't, That's kind of like your reaction to Jungle yeah. Man's I, I the remember the one. Last night. Um, don't let tell you what, here. What just happened? I mean, <laughs> How is Phil they, getting his pot? If I'm right, I'm a genius. I'm Dude, you know I warned you on every street. I know, I know. I don't care. Yeah, but you're up against such maniacs. I, I called free flops, let you barrel, then him over calling kind of threw everything out of whack. The way the hand played. Yeah, that's the thing. I have the same hand as that time. What's that? I have the same hand. Another set? Not another set, but good enough. You got a show here. Oh, I got queen set. It's fine, I mean. To beat top pair. God damn it, dude. How do you do it again? I warn you. And there go the chips speech. over to Sean Deeb. Now that's the Sean Deeb I've grown up with. Rolling in the Deeb. Oh, I feel bad. We barely had time to get to know Tom Dugan. I didn't even get a chance to do my Tom Dugan gag. Tom Dugan! Tom Dugan! Okay, what's that from? Positively Fifth Street Fighter. That's right, we just did a poker book video game mashup reference, and I think I'm good. I've done it all now, everybody. See you later. Oh, boy. Hopefully... You'll be back after this. Welcome back to Steeps' hometown for more Poker Night in America from Rivers in Schenectady, New York. You're, you're gonna be big wine. You're natural big. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Another new player joining us here on Poker Night in America. Rajiv Mara sits down in the five seat. That's a weird thing. So you're actually a jockey? Yeah. Are, are you good? <laughs> yes. That's pretty successful. Yeah. He basically oh, nice. all day long. Awesome, man. I know basically nothing about that, but... You got me for 100, two hands one, in a row. One, it's because your big ass oh, would kill a horse if you got on it. Doug's like, I don't know anything yeah. about that. So you're like one of the best? Uh, top today, 50 but... all time. Oh, nice. If he didn't get injured so much, he but would be up there. Yeah, he's had a yeah. lot of sick injuries. A lot of times he rides at the bottom of the horse and That's not the top. Play with you, dude. I was at a horse track like that once with the Tijuana. Any tips for tomorrow? 
<laughs> Let's see how tonight goes. He's driving that horse to the center of the. Depends on what time the game breaks. Yeah. I'll check. You're checking 50. Wait, good you got a call. Wait, how drunk do we have to get Doug to get him on a horse at okay. Saratoga in the middle of the night running a race? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I river bluff Doug, he has to ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> on the track at All right, Saratoga. Right, I'm going to call every river bluff. <laughs> <laughs> how much? Happen. What's wrong with riding a horse? It'd be fun. Yeah. Sarah Joe was like prestigious. You yeah. know, I know you don't know this, but Frank was like obsessed with I, I, I have it. built like the opposite of someone who's riding a horse. <laughs> That's what makes no, it so no, funny. No, no. Agreed. No, white people were <laughs> right. Yeah. You look like the horse, actually. That's <laughs> sideways on a horse. Doogie's gonna be mad. That's all I know. Guy comes right in here winning in his spot. <laughs> I mean, Doogie can't even win with aces. What the f***? <laughs> Twice he yeah, honestly, that ain't if, good. It, 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 uh, if you can't win with aces, what are you doing? So you mean run that horse right into the casino? They run the no, horse I'm the saying morning. to but get them out on the track and running a race. If it's like 2 a.m., we bribe one security guard yeah. and we're running a race. You can sneak in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't go in and tell me you're a jockey. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to believe you, Sean. Yeah. 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 What we need is Doug Sean and Sean to run a race. I, no. I'm, a, I'm a trainer, though. Trainers Trainer. look like me. I honestly used to do horseback riding when I was five. I fell off twice, hit my head, caused a lot of problems, and I never was on a horse again. That's really. a lie. Sean yeah, rides horse horses terrifying. on a daily basis. I can't imagine being on a horse in the starting game. Can you describe that? Um, I guess you get used it's, to it? Yeah, I've done it like so many times. Maybe I've raced probably like 20,000 races in my career. 20,000? Yeah, probably, yeah. What did you start at, like 12? No, uh, 18, and I'm 30, 14 years. Nice hand, Matt. That what? took you that long. Hey. Oh! Oh! Good hand. Respectable. Don't forget those plaques can be used to force your opponent to reveal their hand after it's over. I don't think I've been to like a uh, horse track since I was like, when I was a kid, I lived near Belmont. In, uh, oh, Belmont, yeah. Yeah. Saratoga is the best place to go. Have you raced there before? Yeah, that's like my main circuit. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. I actually used to work at the exact racetrack they're talking about, Saratoga. Well, I don't think I've been to one since then. If you can get on a horse, seriously, on Saratoga Raceway, you wouldn't do it? Frank, how much would you I'm pay to race a horse that night tonight? That would be awesome. <laughs> and I'm yeah. f***ing terrified of horses, but if I can run a horse around the Saratoga Raceway, <laughs> I'm down. The story would be awesome. When you come back next year, we'll organize it, so that'll be part I, of our That would be awesome. Tell me the guy that talked about the, all the things. Oh, we might die, but it would yeah, still I, I be a cool know. way to go. We're not going to die. Those race horses are used to having... 200 pound guys on their back. <laughs> Sounds like animal True. cruelty in the works to me. Well, a lot of it's the equipment, you know. If you're, if you're barebacking, helps out a little bit. Did you just use the word barebacking? That's what it is. Okay. Without a saddle, Frank. Oh my God. Don't you? You should have just f***ing shot. I know what I'm moving for. Let me see. <laughs> That's a good flop for my hand. One of the worst so dark I'm gonna go ahead and bet <laughs> 3,000. I'm not sure how dark that was. I know, that's why it's a so A dark bad. bet would have been better, I know, but... Yeah, I'm going to call. Oh, you're just calling? Yeah, I'm going to check dark All right. again. Is that too many? Just checking. I want a fair fight. I'm going to have to use my time Max, bank, and I'm not Max even in the hand. Is I'm all in. You can use reveal whatever. I... Fred, show me one of your cards. I'll tell you whether or not you should call. You should definitely fold. <laughs> 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 If the other one is a heart, you are my f***ing hero, Fred. <laughs> that would honestly, like the table talk, the one card, the ace of hearts. Maybe I would have take getting stacked here if he had enough flush right yeah. now. I have to try to stay so hard. hard. You need you a hard one. You gotta get a heart. I flopped hearts. the nuts. Bartlett calls and he is an 85% dog. Oh! Wow. Jesus! Wow. I wasn't expecting Woo! a heart, honestly, since I had two of them. And the nine hearts is dead, too. Yeah. And the nine hearts is dead. Yeah, buddy. Good call, Fred. Wow. Man, I didn't like that. Hey, at you all. made a straight, too, I, Fred. I, I think I'm drawing about higher down. Higher yeah, straight. You got two hearts. Jiminy Christmas. She's going to need like six hands to move all those chips. Oh, well. That was That's poker. lucky. Yeah, well, it seems about the right way, though, for Casella to uh, have another stacked on. And off into the sunset runs Frank Casella. 
Break out the dom now. Are you sure you're still drinking beer? Doug, that's even the thing I wouldn't say. What a well <laughs> What a So cool to have a jockey in the mix. I mean, think of all the terms that carry over. Race, horse, in the money, stud, handicap, half-sister, gelding. Jockeys whip live horses and stapes like to beat dead ones. Yeah, back after this. It's fair. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Night as we close out day one from Schenectady. No surprise with that monster king of hearts on the river, Fred Bartlett has a 24K profit. And I guess the flip side of that pot is Frank Casella, gone. Never to be seen or, oh no, he's coming back. He'll be fine. Stapes, was it fun being back in your old hometown? Yes, it's great. No one has told my parents I'm here yet. No, oh, my mom is texting me. They know, they know I gotta get out of here. For Joe Stapleton. They're here. I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time here on Poker Night in America. Fred, show me one of your cards. I'll tell you whether or not you should call. You should definitely call. You guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, uh, how about this video next? Or, or what about this one? You should definitely call. <laughs> <laughs> if the other one is a heart, you are my fucking hero, Fred. <laughs>